If we told you aliens seem to have the ability to go anywhere and abduct a human, what would you say? It may sound a little crazy, but not so much if we consider the testimonies of people who've been stalked in their own homes. Ready to join the finest squad? Then make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of our interesting videos ever again. With that being said, let's begin. Light in the window. Can you imagine the worst Valentine in the world? It'll probably be breaking up on that date, but not as much as what happened to the Reddit user, Captain Cool and his girlfriend, an alien visit. The young people had a romantic evening planned in a hotel room. Because of the distance, they didn't get to see each other often. Everything was wonderful at the beginning, but while they were sleeping, something strange began to happen. A very strong blue-gray light coming through the window woke them up at midnight, and it wasn't exactly coming from a passing by car. They thought it was already dawn, but the rest of the place was still very dark. The young man said the door opened very slowly, revealing a single light of the same type that came from the corridor. His girlfriend started screaming, and he felt strangely angry. Neither of them had control over their emotions. He could feel something powerful coming into his room, but he didn't have time to see what it was. In that moment, he felt as if he had just awakened. His girl didn't remember anything the next morning, so he thought it was a dream. But the memories are still with them because of how real they seemed. A Grey Stalking You've probably heard of the Greys, also known as Zeta Reticuli. These creatures are one of the types of aliens that have been seen the most on the entire planet. Their appearance is grayish, hence the name, and they're described as thin, with long fingers and a large head, prominent eyes, and a small nose. Doesn't it remind you of the most widespread image of the aliens? Well, according to the testimonies of the Reddit user UFO Probe, he claims to have been abducted by this type of creature during his childhood on a recurring basis, until he was 17 years old. They visited him constantly inside his own bedroom. Terrifying, don't you think? The first abduction took place when he was in first grade. He woke up in the middle of the night, and turning around in his bed, he saw one of them staring at him. The being was about two or three feet tall, was wearing a black v-neck shirt with silver details. It also had a very strange symbol on its clothes, close to the chest. The next thing he remembers is that his mother was waking him up to go to school. He states the visits continued to happen for many nights. Two missed days. Do you think spending a few hours without being able to remember is terrifying? What do you think of two whole days? This happened to Reddit user Sad Splinter. His last memories are from June 5th. Like anyone, he was looking forward to his friend's birthday. And when this date arrived, he didn't remember what he had done in the last 48 hours. All of June 6th was erased from his memory. It was like he had just woken up from a faint and was preparing for the party. He didn't know how or when he had arrived. His friends told him he had spent that day looking very sad and quiet, but he had done everything he had planned. He even found notes with his handwriting on that date in his calendar. He forgot it for a while, until he began to have recurring dreams that each time revealed more details about the forgotten days. All his memories were images of him lying on a stretcher, restrained by invisible forces, unable to move, and a static sound that sometimes released words like fear and Brian. He also reported that it felt like looking at a bright light, but with closed eyes. What do you think? Time travel, alien abduction, or hypnosis? The Strange Light Lindsay C555 was in her senior year of high school when a strange presence manifested in front of her. She was at her best friend's house in Florida, baking brownies together and having fun. But that's the last thing they remember, because they woke up hours later in their friend's bed, scared and disoriented. They didn't know what had happened, but a very strong light, almost unreal, passed through the window. They approached it, but no matter how hard they tried to see where it came from, they couldn't see anything. They discarded the idea that it was a car, because there was a big tree that hindered the passage and also the road was very far away. Completely frightened, Lindsay C555's friend offered her $20 in exchange for going to check if her family was well in the other rooms of the house. She thought that maybe something big had happened at the time that they didn't remember, but neither of them moved. A strange noise accompanied the light, and even then, no one besides them woke up. Lindsay C555's theory is that she and her friend were abducted. Traumatic Surgery If you were already thinking about putting a lock on your room after the preceding stories, the next one will make you set up security cameras throughout the house. Mr. Throwaway 999 tells this story that began when he was only six years old. The man said he woke up one night when one of these creatures was standing in the middle of the room that he shared with his two brothers, and they were staring at them. 
he immediately ran down the hall to his parents' room and disappeared. Similar episodes kept taking place while he was a child, although he didn't say anything because he feared others would make fun of him. He thought he'd got rid of them because in his teen years, nothing similar happened again, but he was wrong. At 25, he woke up in his apartment while Seven Grays performed a strange surgery. He remembers they communicated, making a sound similar to a click, and they had an artifact with which they touched him and made him unconscious or put him to sleep for 24 hours, a kind of long black rod. The nightmare ended with him waking up on the back porch without really remembering the hours that had passed. Shared Dream Do you think dreams can be more than images of the subconscious? Hiroaki Sword says he and his ex-wife had the same dream, inexplicably the same exact dream, about what seemed to be an abduction. In it, they were flying towards a gas station with intense light, which suddenly became a strange tunnel and ended in a white wall. Then, his ex-wife was at a table inside a large room, screaming in terror while he was outside, watching her helplessly. They remember feeling helpless and hopeless. The next morning, she woke up with three marks between her legs in the shape of small fingers. She told him that when she was little, something very strange happened to her. She was on her bicycle, and suddenly the pedals stopped working. Then she saw a creature that looked like some kind of giant mantis, wearing a cape and a collar. When both lived together, rare electrical phenomena took place frequently. They had to replace bulbs very often, and even the electric doors of the house exploded twice. As soon as she left, these events ceased. Would aliens be using their ex-wife for experiments? It seems they had watched her since she was a child, doesn't it? Alien Torture Why do aliens seem to have an obsession with asleep human beings? Well, maybe we're more tolerable that way. The next story took place around 4 in the morning to the user Gypsy Goddess, who usually has lucid and very vivid dreams, so she's accustomed to rare imaginary experiences. However, this time was different from anything else she'd ever experienced, because she's sure this was real. In the episode, she was walking in a long corridor with the strangest exhibition she had ever seen, an alien museum. She walked until she went to another room and was forced to stay in a hospital stretcher. Gypsy Goddess screamed and cried very loudly, while doctors who were definitely not human examined her. Their height and coldness impressed her. She begged them to stop to what they responded she would feel a strong pain. Then they put something between her two arms and pressed buttons on a machine, which gave her a very strange kind of pain. They did it several times, and then they let her go. When she woke up in her bed, her arms were numb. Ghosts or Alien Would you rather own a haunted house or be part of an extraterrestrial experiment? Edward RFP tells on Reddit that when he was 8 years old, strange things started happening in his house. His sister saw a supposed ghost boy and his father the shadow of a child. The TV channels changed on their own and strange noises were heard. Everyone was convinced they were ghosts or witches, except him. Why would an 8-year-old child have reasons to create his own theory? Well, it doesn't seem to be just a child's imagination. As he narrated, Edward saw with his own eyes how strange lights shone out of his window, and when he opened it, an alien was there, staring at him. He wasn't afraid, but peaceful, and from then on, he often saw them in the corners and in the darkness. One day, a reptile-like creature appeared in his room. He approached his pet ferret's cage and examined it, then went to him, and from then on, he remembers nothing. The next morning, he had blues and scratches on his back, but he doesn't know how they were made. The Nightmare of the Witch The following story is, without a doubt, one of the most chilling ones ever. It happened to Wacky Ale 123 from 4 to 11 years old. He would wake up in his bed, looking up, seeing how a light moved from his left towards the sky through the window. The child knew that they would appear there. They had an aspect hard to describe. Sometimes they were like ghosts, sometimes like demons. They entered the scene from one moment to the next, as if in a blink, and tickled him, grabbed him, floated towards the window. Sometimes he would run down the stairs, trying to escape, begging for his parents to be in the living room. But when it was like that, no matter how loudly he shouted at them, they seemed not to hear him. Then the creatures reached him, and he knew they would take him down a long black corridor to a cylindrical room, where the witch was. But who was the witch? A being bigger than them, who asked three questions as soon as they had him in front of her. The boy could never answer them. The floor fell, and he would wake up shaking on his bed. Abduction in the Cabin Have you ever wondered if aliens have something against romance? Volusia25 sure did it when his terrible episode of abduction ended. 
This user tells he decided to go on a romantic getaway with his girlfriend in Salisbury, United Kingdom. But when his partner fell asleep while watching a movie, he decided to finish watching alone. Then he fainted and woke up two hours later totally disoriented, unable to move. He heard a high-pitched moan, so piercing in his ears that he felt his brain shake. He could only move his eyes, although very little, and with an effort managed to see two dark figures standing beside him, watching him. They had a terrifying height, over seven feet tall. Volusia 25 doesn't remember anything else, nor would have heard any word or been tortured. His girlfriend woke him up the next morning, almost at noon, and she seemed calm. He didn't tell her anything. In fact, he didn't share a story with anyone until he decided to go online, hoping to find similar stories. Although he had always been very skeptical, he admitted his story was similar to many others. Is it a coincidence that so many testimonies sound alike? Do you have any you want to share with us? Tell us in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.